Hello, everyone. The story I'm gonna share today is a lesson about vanity. In ancient times, children were taught to value loyalty, filial piety, and to be humble. The story is about one such a child during the Ming Dynasty. Qi Jigong was the Emperor Shizong's advisor and also tutored the prince. When Qi Jigong was a child himself, his father taught him calligraphy and martial arts. He was also strictly taught to have high morals. One day, when Qi Jigong was 13 years old, he kept walking back and forth across the main living room because he was wearing high-quality silk shoes that day. He felt proud and little superior. When his father noticed this, he called him into his study room and angrily said, Because you are wearing fine silk shoes, you feel good about yourself. Tomorrow, you will want to wear fine clothes. Next, you will long to eat best food. Soon, only the best will be good enough for you. If you start to have these thoughts, you'll be very greedy when you grow up. You may become lazy and long for a life of comfort and ease. If this goes on, you will not be an upright or moral person, and you will not be able to uphold our family's good reputation. Even though the fine silk shoes were a gift from his grandfather, as soon as Chi Ji Guang's father said this, he immediately removed the shoes. A year later, Several buildings on the family's estate needed to be renovated. Soon his father asked several craftsmen to do the work. A formal reception hall needed to be built, and a large room in the front hall needed four doors installed. His father asked Chi Ji Guang to supervise the construction. Because his family was related to the emperor, a high status in the area, the craftsmen felt that four wooden doors would be too simple. They told Qi Ji Guang, Your family is so famous and noble. These doors should be beautifully carved. In fact, four carved doors are not enough. Twelve large, beautifully carved doors would be better and would be reflect your family's high status. Qi Ji Guang thought that what they said sounds reasonable. So he suggested to his father. His father severely criticized him and said this was vanity. He also warned him, if you are vain or think highly of yourself, you will not be able to shoulder serious responsibilities in the future. Chi Jiguang listened to his father and told the craftsmen to only install four wooden doors. His father also told him, that the reason one becomes educated was not to pursue personal fame and wealth. Instead, it is to serve the people. Thus, Chi Ji Guang's father strictly educated him. When he became an adult, despite his status, he lived very simply. He studied hard and diligently practiced the martial arts. Later, he became a famous general, an outstanding military strategist, and was renowned for thousands of years. Thank you very much for listening to the story. More touching stories will be ready for you if just subscribe. Thank you again.